Ride the Cyclone is complex in terms of musicals. When I first saw footage of Ride the Cyclone, I was like, what are we doing here? And then you just get into the fun of it. Literally within the first three pages, they die. And you're like, wow, okay, now what, right? But it is not a show about death. It is a show about how you choose to live while you're alive. One of the themes lyrically in the show is it's just a ride. And this idea that we are all on this journey through life. I was absolutely enchanted when I first encountered Ride the Cyclone. And as a director sitting in the audience, I just felt like I have to work on this piece someday. And I think that's that's such a fun feeling as a director to feel like I love what this is and I also can feel sort of simultaneously what I would want to do with it. Yeah. Ride the Cyclone is a little bit hard to describe in that it, it starts as a, a story where in this surreal circumstance, six kids die in a roller coaster accident. They're thrown together, they don't know each other very well. While that's a little bit of a dark setup to a comedy, I think it allows for kind of a magic to happen in the audience because while we're watching people reflect on their life and say, this is what was meaningful to me, or this is what I wish I would have done, or this is who I really was, I'm showing you now, they come to know themselves more deeply and each other. Ride the Cyclone is Sarah Rasmussen's first opportunity to direct since becoming McCarter's new artistic director in August of 2020. Nearly two years of pandemic restrictions put the project on hold. Well, it certainly has been a, a challenging two years and I, I have very much missed being in a rehearsal room with artists. But I also think great lessons came out of the pandemic. Definitely the team here at McCarter and I, I feel like we bonded really quickly because we were in such uncertain circumstances. We all had to really pull together. So when Sarah joined us at McCarter, one of the first projects she talked about being excited about bringing here was Ride the Cyclone. I really understand why Sarah was so passionate about bringing it here. We have the opportunity to showcase some young artists and their abilities and their talents and tell a different story than we've told here at McCarter in the recent past. This show has the most elements I've ever worked on as a stage manager. There's turntable, there's projections, there's a live band that make appearances on the stage. Something new at every turn and every musical number. You know that they're dead, but they're also literally sailing through space, which is a part of the show, like that lyric. What does that mean? How does that feel? How do we create that world? I think McCarter does a fantastic job with every single one of their departments bringing this world to life. These students find themselves in this kind of limbo afterlife space. In a way, each of them have a chance to present a song that represents who they are. And because they're wildly different people, musically, we have wildly different genres represented. There's a, a character who chooses to express themselves through auto-tuned hip-hop. Awesome. Awesome. We have a, a character who wishes they were in a 40s femme fatale French noir cabaret sort of thing, and so the music really reflects that. character who sings in like very 2000s bubblegum pop. There's a character named Jane and she has a song and she's written vocally to be this kind of coloratura lyric soprano, but the music starts in almost like a funeral dirge and then turns into this like New Orleans brassy, hard-edged background vocal while she's doing this really light, floaty, coloratura soprano thing that's haunting. And when you see the show and you, you find out more of her story, you understand why. Musically, it's really exciting because we get to go on this really, really diverse and eclectic musical journey. And the through line is that it's based on who the people are. The Blackwoods have been in uranium since they opened the mines. 
My family had pride when it came to that. Cyclone definitely is inspired by the legendary play Our Town that first premiered here in the 1930s by Thornton Wilder, won the Pulitzer Prize. We are on the other side of the wall, literally in the other theater, right next to the one where that play was first performed in the 1930s. There are similar themes about asking, do we really know that we're living while we live it? How do we really look at what we have while we have it? What does it mean to live? What does it mean to take advantage of that life while you're living it? The show really examines, in the way that a lot of classic drama does, what it means to be alive, what it means to be a person, what it means to be here and connect with each other. We are in conversation with what happened before, and we are also hopefully paying it forward to future generations. That will forever shape a new musical that others will take and perform, and I'm proud that McCarter's a part of that journey.